YouTube. Matase dana. Hey man, check it. I'm probably not even gonna post this video. This video probably doesn't even have any sort of like point to it. But I'm gonna get on here and ramble, maybe even edit it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But right now we're running through the DSLR through the iMac, and I got this nice little microphone set up with the pop filter. So pop filter but anyway i know you're looking at the title if this video gets put up but i intend to title it depression is a bitch depression is a bitch uh i intended to get on here and talk about kakarot i'm probably going to do that tomorrow i'm probably not going to do that today i'm probably going to do that tomorrow um reason being is because i thought this would be a better if you hear feedback sorry i thought this would be a better video to talk about and just like put it out there so uh depression is a bitch and i'm fucking going through it through the depression not necessarily saying that my life is like bad because it's not <clears throat> i don't live a bad life um it, you know i got a sty growing because i had a uh an eye infection and I didn't actively treat it properly so it turned into a sty just like the doctor said it would so now I gotta get the shit drained but anyway um you know I just haven't been in a good headspace so I'm just gonna kind of ramble and then we'll see where it goes and if it's productive I'll put it up um I haven't been in a good headspace lately and I know you guys are wondering why, yo, why you leave YouTube and you come back and you leave and you come back. And it's like, to be honest, like, there's no real fulfillment in it. You know what I mean? Like, I so I have a yearning. I want to be watched, right? Uh, regardless if it's good or bad. Like, if you follow me on Facebook, you know, you know, I, I keep it real. Like, whatever, whatever you guys want to say, or however you feel about it, tell me. Because I want to know, I, you know, I want to get better. But I like being watched. I like having the attention on me and stuff like that. You know, and I try to be funny as best as I can. But, um, you know, people just stop fucking with the channel. And, you know, that's because of my inconsistencies and shit like that. Like, I get it. But people will stop fucking with the channel. And the thing is, is like, for me, I have a hard time capitalizing on shit. Right? So, for example, when I was on E-League, you would think I would capitalize on that, right? I'm probably the one in the show that's doing the less or the least. Um, now, I make a lot of money at work, right? But I'm tired of working. Like, I don't want to I don't want to work for anybody. You know what I'm saying? I want to work for myself. And the thing is, is like, I also don't like risks. You know what I'm saying? Quitting your job and being full-time YouTube is a risk. Or working really hard at your job and then coming home and trying to do YouTube is hard, right? So, you know, being a pro gamer or trying to be a YouTuber is kind of difficult. It's not very easy uh, if you have a full-time job with kids and, you know what I'm saying, like, there's a lot going on. So, for me, it's like, I'll just go the safe route because I don't gamble, right? Why gamble with my life and other people's lives, you know, and just just work so i opted to work um like i said i make a lot of money i make a lot of money at work um you know what i mean so for me it's not necessarily it's not necessarily bad right it's just you know i don't i feel like i'm destined to be on this planet and work for myself not necessarily um, work for someone else, right? Like, I, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't put on this planet to make somebody else rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus. Um, I wasn't put on this earth to work for somebody else. And it's apparent because, you know, this is like, I'm putting out personal information, but it's apparent because, like, you know, things come naturally to me. So, like, for example, why is my phone blowing up so hard? Um, for example, the E-League shit, 
right? So the TV show, I mean, granted, it was hard to get on, but it just fell in my lap. It wasn't a situation where I was like actively seeking it, right? It fell in my lap. You know, my brother was talking to me about it and then boom, and now I'm on TV, right? So, you know, and then like when I was first doing YouTube, like people gravitated to me, you know what I'm saying? Like things just happen. Like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm cool with Joey, the dude who made Street Fighter, uh, Assassin's Fist and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it happens naturally. It's not something that like I need to like kill myself for, right? But the thing is, it's like I said, I don't like risks. So since I don't like risks, I opt to take a high paying job versus doing something I was destined to do, which is entertain. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm supposed to be entertaining. I feel like I'm supposed to be on a mic, whether it's in a church or it's finance or it's motivational speaking or a comedian, an actor, like, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something for me and my family, not necessarily working for someone else, because if you think about it, at the end of the day, I'm an employee of somebody else who's feeding their family off of my hard work, right, so I don't want to do that anymore, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't want to do that, like, sure, I'll do it now, right, but, because, you know, immediately I need money, right, like, immediately I need to pay these bills, right, but, that's not the end goal, you know what I'm saying, and I'm getting old, I'm 30, I'm about to be 31, you know what I'm saying, and I, I'm i push, I'm pushing shit too far back, and the thing is, is it's starting to depress me, you know what I mean, like, I wanted to be a wrestler, so I jumped in the ring for a month, and then, like, now I'm not doing it anymore, and it's like, why are you not doing it anymore, and it's because, bro, like, it's really hard <laughs> for me to get up and do these things, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, I'm just fucking depressed and it's like I need to I need to figure myself out and then I need to pull myself out this rut and start doing things like that's why I put in that time to do that two minute video because I wanted to see who was going to watch it and how many views we got on that right like that was my way of let me let me get up and do it let me get up get out and do something right and then let me include my kid you know what I'm saying like let me do this WTF video. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me do these videos. But, like, depression causes me to not do anything. I will sit my ass on this couch right here and not do anything. And work will be my excuse. Oh, well, I worked all day, so I can't do this podcast that I want to do or this show that I want to do, right? Um, oh, I worked all day, so, you know, I don't want to go out with the kids or anything like that. Like, oh, I worked all day, so I can't edit this video like you know what i'm saying like it's a bitch of a thing to have and as i was growing up i used to like laugh at people who had it like oh depression is just a mindset you know what i'm saying you should be able to get out of it and it's like nah nigga that shit is rough you know what i'm saying like i don't know man i i i want to do youtube but if if nobody's watching, like why do it, right? This isn't a ploy to get people to watch my videos. I'm just giving you insight on why I I I even come back and come back and come back and come back, right? So so why 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 do it if nobody's watching, right? I'm not getting any money out of it. I'm putting my time in for what, right? I feel in my heart I could be successful. Like for example, let's say I was like, you know what? I'm a rap, right? I have enough self-confidence in myself where it's like, if I learn how to do it, I'll be successful. Fuck a deal, fuck all that. I can just put it out there and niggas will fuck with it. That's how my brain works, right? Um, but at the same time, it's like, my brain works like, if I work extremely hard, I expect something back, right? So not necessarily money, you know what I'm saying? But, Comments, views, right? So if I put a video out and it gets 300 views when I'm used to like 2,000, right? If I put a video out that gets 300 views, to me, that's a failure. I didn't, I didn't succeed in what I was trying to do. So it's like, why, why did I bother in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did I, why did I do it in the first place? Um, but I feel like it's that's part of my depression that's making me think that way. You know what I'm saying? Because before I just put the video out just to put the video out. It wasn't, yo, I'm going to put this video out and I'm, I'm targeted to hit this many views. It was never like that. It was just, I'm going to put this video out because I want to fucking do it. 
You know what I'm saying? So I want to do YouTube. I want to do music. I want to wrestle. I want to do all of that. And most of all, I want to make money working for myself. You know what I'm saying? And I always had a problem with Patreon. I've always had a problem with all of that because it's like, you know, I don't want to ask niggas for money. And I'm still not asking niggas for money. But my thing is, is like people make money, like like money off this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't. You know what I'm, You know what I mean? And it becomes... It becomes, why are you doing it? You know? My mom always told me, if you're going to do something, like, you need to make something out of it. So, when I would play video games all day, she'd be like, yo, make you need to make something out of this. You know what I'm saying? And I made money off of video games. You know what I'm saying? I made a living off of video games. Um, so, it's not like I was just sitting there wasting my time. I, I made something out of myself playing these video games, right? Like, you only know me because of video games. Um... And then if you watched me on E-League, it's to play a video game, right? Um, so my point is, is I'm trying to get over this depression state that I have. And I feel like the best way for me to get over this shit is to talk to, you know, this camera and maybe put it on YouTube and maybe respond to some comments, right? Let me see what people are saying. Like, if you suffer from it, like, you know, talk to me. The thing is, is no, I'm not going to hurt myself. I'm not like one in one of those mind states where I'm like, I'm going to fucking hurt myself. That's not what this is. Um, it's more so everybody says that, you know, if you're going through something, you should probably talk to somebody about it. Right. And this is me reaching out before I do any more funny videos, before I talk about any other games, I'm going to just put this video out and be like, Yo, real shit, I'm going through depression and it's kind of uh, putting me in a situation where I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get up, go to work. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to see my children. I don't want to make videos. I don't want to play games. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to be bothered. I want to be left alone because I'm fucking depressed. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I do intend to make a full return to YouTube provided I get out of this hump. The reason why I haven't come back completely is because I know I'm going to start and then stop. So I'm trying to get myself to start and not stop, you know, and, uh, this is me, um, trying, right. I got to get out of this fucking rut. I don't know what it is. I don't know what brings it on, but it's been a few years and it's something that, I'm tired of, so, you know, I'm going to do this show, and, you know, hopefully people watch it, I'm going to make these videos, hopefully people watch it, um, eventually we'll get to Patreon levels, but I feel like I need to earn some trust back, so, um, if you watch this video, I appreciate you, if you made it through to where we are now, I appreciate you, um, but, everybody's human right and not everybody's living a perfect life like i got i have pretty much everything that i want like behind me is pretty much everything that i want i got a sonos system i got 65 inch 4k tv over there i got a 55 inch 4k tv in the bedroom dslr i got a mac right here a monitor right here a macbook pro 2019 right here i got it's all material shit but two switches 27 inch mac over there $3,000 computer over there, like iPad Pro, all the games that I want. Like, I got what I need, but it doesn't get me out of this rut. <laughs> uh, you know, and I, I just recovered from the flu, and I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm rambling because I don't really know what else to say, but I'm pretty, pretty depressed. So, Yeah. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to get out of this rut so I can start making videos and do this show again. I'm trying to do the show with Judge and Brandon. Um, I think it'll be a good show. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but because I'm not ready to disclose that, but I think it'll be a good show and I hope you guys watch it. I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm just sad. <laughs> you know, I have everything that I could want. You know, I just, I know for sure I don't want to work for anybody anymore. I want to work for myself. Like, I hate playing politics. I hate, I hate, you know, 
busting my ass for somebody who makes millions, like billions. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, I hate it. You know what I mean? Maybe if I made millions, if maybe if I got a piece of it, maybe I'd feel better about it. But, you know, you work so hard. Not to say that the owner is not, you know, he don't work hard, but, you know, the CEO doesn't work hard. But for me, it's like, I want to wake up for me. I want to work for me. I want to be my own boss. I don't want to work for anybody anymore. And it's like, I don't know how to do that. Like, how do you do that? How do you stop being depressed so you have the motivation to, you know, get up and do something? I'm not going to edit this either. Like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it up. If I put it up, I'm just going to put it up. You know, because uh, I feel like it's more real that way. No cuts, no nothing, no music, just you and me. How do you get out of this depression? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I know I'll eventually get out of it because I overcome usually everything that I try to overcome. You know what I'm saying? But um, how do you how do you beat it? Right? How do you beat it so I can become motivated enough to work my day job and then come home and then perform for everybody? This shit on my eyes really fucking with me. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like there's better things for people to be depressed about, but for me, it's just like, like YouTube doesn't depress me. It's just life. You know, I'm about to be 31 in March, you know, and I did what I was raised to do, which is work legally, get, you know, make money legally make a lot of money legally, right? I make more money than my teachers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was always what you were supposed to do, right? I don't know. I want to be the head of my family. I want to be, you know, the provider of my family. Like, not even my just immediate family. Like, I'm supposed to take care of my kids. I want to buy my mama house. I want to buy my kids they're you know send them to college you know what i'm saying without worrying about a 401k you know i want to invest in something i have all these like aspirations where i want to you know take care of people like when i daydream about being wealthy i daydream about handing my mom keys to her, her house you know i daydream about you know paying off my kid's mom's car or, you know, handing her stacks of money so because of the shit she, she, you know, I put her through, you know, paying off my current girlfriend's house so she don't have no debt, you know what I'm saying? Like, buying my car, my kid's cars whenever they need it, you know, taking care of my sisters, moving everybody to the same state, like, when I daydream about being rich, that's what I think about. Paying paying back people that I owe or paying off all of my debt and other people's debt. You know what I'm saying? Moving my brothers out here. You know what I mean? Like all of my brothers, my mother's side, my father's side. Like everybody being in one place. Buying a house in Japan so that we have a family house for people to visit in another country. Taking people on experiences. It's never like... Yo, I want to be rich so I can be rich. Cuz it's like if I'm if I'm wealthy, everybody's wealthy. And I I can't do that having a a fucking day job. I can't. I need to get out of this fucking hump because my family is all program programmed to work. 
my girlfriend is programmed to work. I'm programming my kids to work. And when I say work, I mean like a nine to five. I don't, I don't, I don't want that for my family. I don't want that. Is YouTube going to be the avenue to do that? I would say probably not because I'm not super abrasive. I'm not doing prank videos. Like I'm not out here, you know, doing crazy shit. I'm just trying to play games <laughs> and talk about them. You know what I'm saying? Have people send me games and fucking go to, you know what I mean? But there's got to be a way for me to get wealthy and it ain't going to be working a job. But first and foremost, I got to get undepressed so I could do something. And I feel like I've always stood out in my family. Like when I say my family, everybody, everybody in my family, family, I feel like I've always, I've always stood, out stood out because I've always I've been, been the one that wanted, wanted to, to be, be in front of a camera. I'm like talking, talking to you as if you were a person. This camera, this camera doesn't phase me, which is why I was perfect for E-League because... It didn't matter where the, I could have been taking a shit and somebody was there with a camera and it would not phase me. You know what I'm saying? And Or like being in a movie or something. None of that shit phases me. It doesn't bother me. Like It's hard to embarrass me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking to you with the shit growing on my face and it's not bothering me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's hard. It's really hard to embarrass me. So I always felt like growing up like I was the one that was going to do something. And I got a glimpse of that when I did the E-League shit. And I didn't capitalize when when Joey first hit me up and was like, yo, I need you to do WTS, I should have just did all of that, and I didn't. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's stuff that I could have capitalized on that I didn't. I just didn't do it, you know? And it's my fault, but it's like, damn, did I miss my boat? Did the door close? Am I too old? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I thought about that, too, when I was thinking about wrestling. Like, yo, I'm about to start wrestling at 30. Like, I'm old. You got... 18-year-olds flipping, breaking necks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm old in that in that field is what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do I do? There has to be something that I do to get me wealthy. And it ain't working for somebody else. And that shit is on my mind every day. Every day. And I don't do nothing about it. It's on my mind every day. How do I... Wake up and do something that makes me wealthy enough to pull out everybody with my last name out of the hood, out of their situations, so we can all live together. I don't mind doing the work. I don't mind being the celebrity. I don't mind being the guy that makes the music. I don't mind being the guy that travels the world, busting his ass so that my girl and my kids and their mom and my mom and my dad and my brothers and my aunts and all of them don't have to work. My uncle's a fucking cop. I don't want him to be a cop. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do I get to that level? How do I make a million dollars? Now, I know that's short money, but just bear with me. How do I make a million dollars so that I could turn that into millions of dollars? Right? Like, how do, how do I do that without having to save 401k, without having to sell my stock? How do I do that? And I feel like that plays a part in depressing me because I know I can do it and I know I have the ability to do it. I feel it. I see it. I think about it all the time. How do I, how do, I do it? Man, I just don't have the answer. So I always get motivated and I come back to YouTube and I make a video and I think it's like the best video ever and I get like 200 hits. Then it's like, fuck, maybe it wasn't the best video ever. I feel like as a creator, like when you watch creators, you don't really, you don't really see it. You know what I'm saying? Like how, you know, 10 likes and 200 views, two comments, like what that does to to somebody who took four or five, eight 10 hours to edit a video and shoot the shit for 200 people to watch it. And then that's it. It's like, it's hard. And I've never had a 200,000, 1 million views. I've never had that. So I don't want to make it seem like I've had it and then I lost it. That's not the case here. What I'm saying is, is that for somebody who works eight hours and works hard eight hours and then comes home and has to be dad you know what I'm saying? And then deal with, 
your emotional state and your physical state, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to to do this. It's hard to do it. Take all this time to do it and then put it up and nobody watch it. It's that sucks. It sucks. And that's not y'all fault. Like don't take it as if it's y'all fault. And I'm probably talking to nobody right now, but it's not y'all fault. So don't take it as that cuz that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's it's hard to grind that. You know, and maybe that's what you need to do to to get out there. But I'm just hoping that you watch this video, you're listening to this video, and you're going through the same thing. And if you are, we can align on it, and we can talk about it. You know, this depression, this depression thing. And then, like, I'm sure somebody out there feels it. Like, you're meant for more than working for somebody. You're meant for more than that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm more than working for somebody. Even as a wrestler, right? As a wrestler, you'd still be working for somebody, but you're a lot better off. I can make enough money to invest in something. I can make enough money to buy my mom a house. I, before I leave this planet, I want to buy my mother a house. That's like a goal of mine. But I don't want to finance it. I want to... If I, if I live in Florida... Mom, here's the keys to your house in Florida. Don't worry about anything else. You don't have to work because I bought your house. Don't worry about it. This is your house. Everybody lives in this house. You don't got to work. You do however way you get your money is how you get your money. But you don't have to work because everything that you need is taken care of. That's how I want it to be. And that's how I want my kids to be when they grow up. I'm going to take care of my mom and my dad. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm just being real, which is why I'm including the people that I'm including. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what, the mother of my kids, you know, I want to make sure she's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, she's the mother of my kids. No matter what, you know, the girl that's got my back right now, Julie, like, she's got my back 100%. I want to make sure she doesn't have to work. You see what I'm saying? Like, I feel like my job is to Bust my ass to the point where y'all don't have to work anymore. I don't see my mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see my mother. If she didn't have to work, you know how much I'd see her? Think about it. Think about it. Think about that. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I want to see my mom, she on a plane. That's it. We, we, we can see her. Imagine that. Imagine that. You take away... Your family having to work. Take that away. Y'all don't have to work no more. Which means y'all are always available. We can go and have experiences together. Right? Imagine imagine being so wealthy that, you know, you could provide for everybody. So that when you're done working, everybody's here for you. Everybody's here. Now, when I say working, I mean working for yourself. Like, you, you're, you're your own boss. Right? Imagine that you come home, your mom is here, your dad's over there, your brothers is over there, your sisters is up there, your girl is right here, your kids is over there. And y'all could go on experiences together. Like, yo, let's go get some fucking food we've never had before. Let's get Ethiopian food as a family, as a unit, and just be deep as fuck and just. You feel me? Like, if you don't want to come, that's cool, I got it, but you still gonna be fine. You know what I mean? I don't want my little brother to work. I think that shit is whack. I think it's whack. I don't want I don't want you to work. I think that shit is whack. I feel like you should live your life, go to school, go go through college. You know what I'm saying? Like be young, be a kid, have an experience or two. I don't want my kids to work. I don't want my girl to work. She works so fucking hard. Like I don't want you to work no more. I don't want my mom to work no more. And I feel like it starts with me, but what the fuck do I do? What do I do? I don't have a computer that reads. You put your fingerprint on it and it tells you what you need to do and you go and do it and then you're successful. I don't have that. I have to just get up and do it. Niggas want me to sell insurance and shit. I'm not. Like, what the fuck do I look like? So I can just rob niggas and make you buy insurance. Like, I got to do something. 
I got to do something. And it starts with this fucking depression. I got to get out of this rut. But I got to do something. I need to do something before I leave this planet. Something has to happen. And I just, I don't know what it is. I see these YouTubers that like make millions of dollars just doing dumb shit. And I'm sitting here with my fucking nine to five. And it ain't like I'm just going to get up and quit. Fuck no, I'm not. I'm not that stupid. But I got to do something. I don't know what the fuck it is. I got to do something. Something has to happen where... I'm generating enough revenue to take care of my family. I will buy my mom's house before I buy my own. I just don't know what it is. Depression is a bitch, bro. And I feel like I've been depressed for like 12 years, 13 years. I've been depressed. No matter how much I smile, laugh, joke, I've just been depressed. I know this video is mad long and y'all niggas ain't gonna watch all this shit. And I, I respect that. But, um... I just wanted to give you some real life insight on what's going on in Dayasha's brain. You know, I know this shit got real deep and y'all not, you know, you don't really like to see me like this because I don't like to see myself like this. But I spend all this money on equipment and don't even fucking use it. Look at it. I know this shit sounds beautiful. I don't even use none of this shit. Like I'm looking at myself like, damn, that shit looks so good. This mic probably sounds ridiculous. And I just. So if you wanted to know why I, you know. Leave and come back and leave and come back and leave and come back. Now, you know. It's not lucrative enough for me. And I didn't have the drive to grind like you need to grind. There's a there's a certain level of grind you have to do before you're at a certain level. Like not even like this is base level. You have to ground grind this much just to get base level before you could be at the top. Or, you know, strive to the top. I'm not even close to I'm surface level <laughs> of a grind. I haven't even gotten me level of grind yet. You know what I'm saying? And I gave myself my soul a year. If I, I when when I come back, I have to, I have to I'm doing, doing it for a solid year. And if I see growth within that year, I'll continue. But if I don't, I'm gonna have to find a different avenue. Is what I told myself. So those videos that I put out, that's not me starting. When I say I'm starting, I mean like I'm starting. Like I'm making music videos. I'm doing the show every, every on, you know, on the schedule. I'm putting out videos, you know, every time on time. You know what I'm saying? Like putting it out so that I could get back to making a thousand views or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um I got to learn that algorithm too. Like nobody's probably going to watch this shit either, but I'm, I'm going to just put it out. It's 30 fucking 40 minutes of me just talking nonsense. I got to do something. I'm not meant to live and die working for somebody else. It's not what I was meant to do. And if I was, if I was meant to do that, I need to be making millions, nigga. Cause I got people that rely on me, that depend on me. I'm not meant to work for somebody else. Worry about clocking in on time, going to lunch on time and coming back. I'm not that's not what I'm meant to do. 
and there's nothing wrong with it. That's just not my lane. I wasn't put on this earth to live in that lane. Problem is, is I can't get myself out of this fucking rut, this depressing shit, to do something with myself. Shit makes me fucking lazy, complacent. Fuck is the point. Depression is a bitch. Yeah, make sure make sure you're taking care of yourselves, bro. Unless you want your eye to look like how my shit looks. I got an eye infection and didn't even take care of it properly. And then caught the flu right after. You gotta take care of yourself. I stopped going to wrestling too because I didn't want to live. I didn't want to live to entertain at the cost of my health. I didn't want to be hurt all the time. Because then I'm definitely not going to want to go nowhere. The goal is to be able to take care of my family and be with my family. It makes no sense if I'm beat up and can't spend no time with them. Right? But, hey, yo, I might go back to wrestling, fam. To be real, because it's really good fitness. Go back to wrestling and, uh, you know, see how that pans out for me. Cause it ain't like it's too expensive. Like it's I can afford it. I just depression, fam. Shit'll talk you out of everything. That shit talks me out of everything. 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 That shit'll talk you out of everything. You wanna make dinner? You wanna make a big dinner? Nah, fuck you. Eat a bowl of cereal. Sit your ass on that couch and watch other people be wealthy and taking care of their families. That's the shit right there. That's the shit. Bars. Depression will make you eat a bowl of cereal instead of making a fat dinner. And sit your ass on this couch and watch somebody else be rich, wealthy, and happy and taking care of their family. That's the shit right there. That's the shit. I can't do that no more. I can't. I got to get out of it. I got to get out of it. And I got to make it some way, somehow, so I could take me and my niggas with me. That means Judge, Brandon, Infiltrate, you know, Mad Titan, K-Brad. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these niggas. My man's Alex. Take everybody with me. Everybody. If you with me, you with me. You know what I'm saying? Takaru playing Street Fighter with me. Like, if you with me, you with me. And, like, it sucks because I never thought I'd see myself in a state like this. But, like, I'm I'm brolic, but I'm, like, overweight. But I need to lose weight. I'm not super healthy. I eat like shit. I need to do something. I got to do something. Something has to be done. Will it be YouTube? Maybe, maybe not. YouTube might be the avenue. YouTube was the reason why I was on E-League. YouTube's the reason why I'm a Twitch partner. I mean, like, I'm looking at this wallpaper with, like, my, my castmates. Because I was really proud of the show. Like, JB, Rob TV, Sherry, Commander Jesse, Low Tier God, Guilty. Like, I'm looking at them, and they're all doing all right. You know what I'm saying? I watch Low Tier God the most out of... All of them because um, um, I think that nigga's funny as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I support Rob TV, but I watch LTG more than I watch LT, uh, Rob TV. I fuck with Rob TV heavy though. And I, you know, I see them doing their things and I'm just working a regular ass fucking job. I'm going to end this video because I've been rambling long enough. Um, You'll know when I get out the rut. I'll get out of it eventually. Depression is a bitch. And y'all are better than a 9 to 5.
We all are. You wasn't born to fucking work a nine to five. What makes the what makes the CEO of the company or the boss of the company better than you? Y'all are both born out of a vagina. You know what I'm saying? With blood and flesh, bones. What makes them better than you? That you got to work for somebody else. I ain't doing it no more. I ain't going to be depressed no more either. I got to figure this shit out. I'll see y'all later.